Good afternoon, Jamaica and Runner Roll. This is PGMI on stage. This is a new program that we are launched and we are going straight into the media and great things are happening. Life were given unto us a billion years ago. What have we done with it? Life is great. Life is successful. Life is so glorious. God has given us freedom, great liberty. And Jamaica in this world, land we love, we have to cherish the life that God gives us. We are a great nation, a special generation, a chosen people that God has placed upon this earth for a mighty purpose. God has colonized heaven with the earth. So whatever in heaven is also on the earth that we should enjoy for the rest of our life. But man have turned God's world into a situation that we cannot understand and we have to to step forward to 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 describe of what man is really doing to this world god is precious god is great god is mighty god is omnipresence and we have to honor god in his omnipresence level we love jamaica and we love our people we love our prime ministers the leaders that sit over our nation we have to pray for them we have to cherish them we have to push them on to to lead properly but if they're not leading us properly then we have to speak out when you look back in in, in jamaica and uh, also around the world in 2019 1326 deaths in in jamaica and there wasn't a state of emergency or the, the jamaica have never locked down because of so many crime and violence, rape and, 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 and murder taking place in, in our society by gunmen and wicked people. Coming back to 2020 this year, this is just the beginning of the year. And we have almost 400 deaths by gunmen, by murderers in our country. And our Prime Minister have never locked down the country or, or, or even take a step to, to state of, of state of emergency to, to to find these gunmen but corona is around jamaica and i believe just eight person died and jamaica have been locked down call centers have been open they get rights to open the call center but people sitting on top of people and the church have been closed if you have a state of emergency or have something that going on that is dangerous around our people, the first step to take is joy to God. But they're not joined to God or joined to our Father, our Savior, our Deliverer. They're joined to call centers. No call centers are spreading the verse all around Jamaica. Now this is time they want to lock it down. We have to know what we want in life. This is not a, a country that one man have the speech or one man have talk this is a a democratic country we have to come together as the church and the state to make sure our people have been protected you cannot manipulate everyone at all time is not everyone are idiots you have sensory people that have sense upon this earth you have people that is connected with god in this generation in this country so we have to be very careful. You cannot lock down the church. The church is the power source that move the curse of the nation. That destroy yokes, break spells, and destroy the devils of the earth. It the matter if Karuna is however she name or he name is dangerous. God is more dangerous than Karuna. So you have to put God first and let God people because you have men of God who is the hands of God upon the earth mighty men of God that when they speak mighty things happen why the churches don't come together why the, the circle of churches you you we, we can even blame our prime minister we have to blame the circles of churches they are the head of all churches in Jamaica they're the one who should call all churches to come together call all prime ministers Call the, the, the prophets, the, 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 the bishop, the, the pastors to come together and let us launch a power source upon the earth. Let us launch together and let us destroy this dangerous disease that is trying to overpower our nation. But you can sit down and let Corona 
send you to hospital into an operation room when you look back in society everyone walking with a mask like they're going in the operation room to do operation everyone like they're going to hospital why covering your face why 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 covering your eyes your nose your chin are you going on an operation if corona want to catch you you could have be under your bed or wherever you want to be it can catch you anyway we know we have to use wisdom we have to use knowledge we have to use understanding but don't fool all the people all the time remember there is a god that don't sleep the god that always stand high and look very low god eyes always open you cannot destroy the world because of your own greed because of your own belief God have his chosen people upon this earth that once you touch them dangerous things happen. We need to come together as one in unity, in love. Not to bash out on anyone or to hit out on anyone. But to say if you make a mistake, correct it. And make sure you put God first. And let all of these things shall added unto you. 100% of Jamaican people now have to wear masks because it is a law that you have to obey by the laws and stipulations of the land. But only gunman is only rapist is only murderer I know wear masks and cover up and hide their identity. So why should we hide our identity? If you're going into a store, you cannot go into a store unless you cover your face. Are you going to hide your identity when you're going shopping? Are you going to hide your identity when you're going to the, 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 the supermarket, the bank, the Western Union? It's only a thief wearing a mask. So are you going to turn all of our society into criminals? You cannot identify the thief and the criminal from society people no more because everyone is in mass. Everyone mass up. Everyone cover up. I see a gentleman a couple of days ago. You could hardly see his eyes. Everything cover up. People are hiding from Corona. But the truth of the fact, Corona not killing anyone in Jamaica. Eight person, died in, eight person died in Jamaica and you're not even sure if two of them is from Corona. We know we have to use wisdom, we understand that. But what about gunmen, murderers, thieves that kill more than 1.3 thousand people in 2019 and say the emergency have never been there Jamaica have never locked down New York is open and, and over 20,000 people die in America and they're still open they're going to run their own business thousands of people die in China and China is open China is free why don't free this society People dying for hunger. Poor people. People don't have it. Low class people who have to depend on their wages for a little. We need to get out there. We need to send people around Jamaica to help these persons who are dying for hunger, who need help. You may up in your in, in, in your changing room in your great places with your AC and all of that and you, you, your meals are provided for you and, and a plaque but what about the people who have to eat out a black pot pimento wood, coal pot what about those people in the country who have to go farming go and ground, can't find the next meal for tomorrow you can't think about yourself and your friends you also have to think about the rest of Jamaica Jamaica is a great per is a great place, a mighty place, powerful place, full of riches, full of greatness. But we have to help each other and let this world be a better place. I look back in two thousand and and nineteen and the murder rate gone sky high. And all our pastors and bishops and prophets 
they pray, they fast, they holler, they sing. They do all different type of things and the, the murder rate is still climbing. Why, why the Prime Minister don't lock down the country and call all the churches to open and breed a great fire anointing through Jamaica? So the presence of Almighty God can become omnipresence to stop these wicked people from destroying our nation. Why don't set a strong tower, a prayer room in every parish, every town under the clock there's a prayer room. Somebody, you, you have to pray at the clock before you go to work in the morning. As you come off the bus, you go in the prayer room, you pray. Then you go towards your work. Every town center should have a prayer room, should have a prayer center where you pray before you go about your business. Cover each parish. Cover each district. Each district, before you enter the lane or enter the avenue or the road, you should have a prayer room, a pastor or a bishop uh, assigned to the prayer room to touch every vehicle passing through. Cover the district, cover the area, cover the avenue. So the, the presence of the Lord can be omnipresence around Jamaica. Just like you have police assigned on the road, you should have pastors assigned on the road, walking around, see a person that is lonely, see a person that is in going, just going through their bad time and pray for them and anoint them, um, counsel them, cheer them up. So I'm pleading to, to our prayer minister, just like how you have police officers around the world, around the parish, you should have pastors assigned around the parish looking for lonely people, looking for people who are hungry, looking for people who are down in troubles and trials and tribulation, looking for, for people who are going through their, their marriage uh, problem, their, 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 their hunger problem. And, and, and let's, let's cherish them. Let's anoint them. Let's, let's escort them in the presence of God. Jamaica would be a better place, a better uh, country, if we just commune together and put God first and let the presence of God be omnipresent. Let God's name be heard upon the earth. Let, let God's name be heard upon the earth. So God, people can know that God is alive and well. We love our Prime Minister and there is no doubt that we will continue to pray for you and your family. But you have to use wisdom. And we cry now to the, the, the circle of churches, the head of churches in Jamaica. You need to step out, you need to call all the rest of churches to come together. And release a fire anointing power upon Jamaica. Break spell. Destroy yoke. So God people can be free. From the evil of this nation. Life is not short. Life is great. Life is successful. Life is glorious. Life were given unto us over a billion years ago. Before the foundation of the earth, the Bible state, the works of God upon this earth were omnipresent. Whatever God done is well done. And we have to honor Him in spirit and also in truth. Let God arise and let the enemies of God be scattered. But our society, we take God for granted. God bless her with a great, powerful ministry. These churches turn God church. These pastors and prophets and elders turn God church in supermarkets and in business. We use God church to say we are charity. And we, we are here to, to help the poor or the lower class people and also to church God people into righteousness. So they open basic school, daycare centers. And the church's daycare centers and basic school is more expensive than the public basic school 
and daycare center. They use the church money and the church name, open primary schools, and the church primary school, which should be the one that contributing towards society, is more expensive than the primary schools of the rest of country. They open high school. The tuition is more higher than the tuition of other schools, and you are the charity. You're the one who should set example to help poor people and to help God people. I'm seeing churches have university and you cannot enter that university unless you have your tuition. And these churches say they are charity people. They're the one who help in society. And their university is more expensive than their university around the world. How can God people so cruel to others when this university should be free to bring people escort people from poverty from 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 low class to high class no you escorting people down into low class pressuring people to bring tuition when you are the charity group who should escort people higher give them more to life, open wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and show them the way of life. You know, pressuring them, making laws that they have to live by in your university, when the church should be the charity that helping people. Where do we go from here, Jamaica? We need a university of freedom. That our people who cannot pay the tuition, cannot pay the, the first bill, the first school fee, they go for free. These are the churches we're looking for in Jamaica. Not the one who who making millions and billions of dollars and saying we, we have 3,000 people in 3,000 students in our university. We have 8,000 students in our university. And all they're looking is the, the hypes and, and all the, 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 the stuff, the money and those stuff. They don't understand you have poor people who can't pay a dime. They get all the, the stuff together. Eat, drink and marry while poor people are still in poverty. Taking offering. Tithes and offering. Even Paul speak about it in, in Corinthian. He said he, 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 he robbed other churches. But in his church, he is the man of God. Let me tell you something, pastors and prophets. And wherever you say your name. Some of you are going to find yourself dead in your church. Some of you are going to find yourself dead in your house. Some of you are going to find yourself dead in your car because you're using God as if God is a man. But God is God. You need to treat God like God and treat man like man. God people need help. You need to step out there and help God people and stop helping yourself. Church is a charity organization. We need to help each other, provide for each other, cherish each other. Most of these small churches that we have in society, they shine their very best. But the, these master big churches, the master ones that have the university, the, the, the high school, the, the primary school, the daycare day, day center that making millions, they're the ones that pressure in society. When you should call children off the road, take them up, chain them. Let them be pastors, let them be doctors, let them be lawyers. They're on the street where your university is packed. And you're making millions and saying that you're a charity organization. It don't work like that. God cannot please with what is going on in society. And we need to change that. The circle of churches need to step down and look in these churches that make in the millions and billions of, uh, of dollars. And take an example of it to help other people in society. 
I run in a, 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 a mighty church. I use my church hall to train security guards. Train men and women who is on the street, can't get a job, who have nothing to do. We train them. We place them in the, the police force. We place them in security company. We place them in the army. We get job for them. We get a uh, uh, contract for them overseas so they can have a good life. What your church is doing? Sometimes you have to close the church and take up people up the street and usher them to Christ. Teach them the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding. Let them know that there is a God somewhere. Beyond the throne, there is a God. A true and living God, the Almighty One, the, the, the Mighty, the, the Sovereign, the Absolute God. His omnipresence. We need God. We need Jesus in our life. We don't need call center. We don't need the prime minister. We don't need the official. We need God at the center of our life. You can't close down the country for eight persons who die of corona. When in 2019 we have over a thousand people die from gun. Why don't close down the country and look for the gunmen and the guns and stop closing the country for those eight people dying from corona? You need to come together and know that this country is a great nation. A powerful country with great people living in it. We can't lock down the country because of lack of knowledge. We have to be firm. We have to be just. We have to use wisdom. We have to use understanding. When I look back in the police force, in the army, the government take our nice, decent young men and women that we will fight to send to school, fight to send them to university, fight to pay the tuition so they come out to have their subjects, their diploma, their, their PhD. Some have 13 subjects, 5 subjects. Fight themselves and then the government take them and place them in the police force to fight for their country. Turn them into vampires, lion, tigers, give them gun to run down murderers and criminals. And when a police officer caught the criminals or gunmen and the life is at risk and they have to fire one or two shots and someone die. The same government that take your nice decent young son and daughters send undercover agent. They have one now that they call, I even don't even remember the name of the one that they, they, they call that just come out, Mocha. Mocha is coming for you. To lock you up after they, they take your decent great son and daughters, turn them into criminals, chain them into dangerous men to fight for the country. Now they have to defend the life because of judgment call between them and gunmen and murderers. They get some, maybe one or two shots and a gunman die. Mocha is coming for them. In the come is coming for them. Lock them up. Just because of one or two shots to save their life, now they're going to prison for eight, eight years, ten years, twenty years behind bars because of one mistake. These, some of these police officers have 200 cases in the, in the, 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 the time, 150 cases that they won. And one little mistake that they make and in the come put them against behind bars for 30 years, 40 years, 25 years. What our police officer need to do? They can't serve their country in peace. They can't walk in peace. You don't provide a vehicle or a house for these police officers so they could live a good life. You just use them and then spit them out like bubble gum. I am pleading to these police officers, these nice, decent young men that serve in our country. If you see a judgment call and you have to 
do something to save your life, do it. Because Prophet Roy Del Rowe is praying for you. And the power of Almighty God will continue to cover you in all circumstances possible. All our police officers in Jamaica, I am praying for you. My church is praying for you. My pastors, my bishop, my elders, we are praying for you. Cover yourself. Protect yourself. And always remember one thing. If you make a hundred case one day, in, within one day, the same money when mountain come, you're going to get it if you don't make any case at all. So if you don't have to make a case, you don't have to put yourself under pressure or put yourself at risk. Because if you make case or you don't make case, you get your pay when mountain come just the same. Use wisdom officers. Soldiers use wisdom. Because if you put yourself at risk to jump over the wall and block your foot and blind your eye and block your hand, it's the same pay when mountain come all of you go and get. So you use very wisdom. Because the effort that you make to save a life today is good. But what about your life? What about your family who gonna cry when you're gone? When you're part what about your daughter who growing up gonna grow up without a father? Gonna grow up without a mother? Use wisdom officers. Do your job wisely. But when judgment call come, be very smart. Because Mocha is waiting for you. Indicom is waiting for you to escort you in darkness. In dark places. Everyone making money. Everyone going around the corner doing their stuff. Officers, be firm. Be perfect. Stay under the power of Almighty God. Let no one manipulate you. Let no one push you to go in trouble. And when trouble take you, they run leave you. Use wisdom. Your mother, your father are sent to school. Let you come out to be a great successful man and woman. The government will have you in their arms. Chaining you, putting you in, 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 in harm's way. Causing gunmen and murderers and thieves and rapists to, 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 to come after you while you go after them. But always remember, wisdom is very important. I am praying for all of my police officers in Jamaica and around the world. Be covered under the power of Almighty God, the omnipresent God. And let God be God and man be man. In Jesus' name. God bless you and we love you, Jamaica.